Vactec Vacuums introduces its latest model, the Transverse Thruster Dry Vacuuming System. The Transverse Thrusters come in 20 CFM models, 60 CFM models, 100 CFM models, okay, the and then we have twins, which were 120 and 200 CFM models. This particular unit is a 20 CFM model fitted with reverse air blast filter cleaning, and this one has anti-static features. Recovering grain and biscuits here, this has a 5 metre suction hose. High vacuum at 10 inches. Once the vacuuming is complete, the reverse air blast ball valve is opened, which cleans the filters from the inside out. Here, the 20 CFM model can be seen recovering small rocks, kibble, biscuits, grains, seed, all sorts of moderate dry waste. The increased power of the transverse thrusters provides the system with huge pickup. This is the lowest powered model, 20 CFM. For higher suction requirements, the model can be upgraded to 60 or 100 CFM in the single units. All transverse thruster systems can be configured to recover wet slurries and spills via a transfer hose into an old drum. This effectively turns the old drum into the capture tank for your vacuuming system. So no fluid goes into the transverse thruster dry unit. The transfer hose and the spill kit is an inexpensive attachment to the transverse thruster dry system. Once connected, the transverse thruster becomes a very powerful wet recovery system which can recover fluids from containers and also spills. Once connected, the transfer hose enables the transverse thruster system to recover all sorts of factory spills. Here, water has been recovered. For heavier fluids like oils, a more powerful system with a 60 CFM powered unit would be required. As with all air powered vacuum systems, the length of the air hose, the length of the suction hose, all will have an effect on the power of the vacuum. In this clip, a 25 foot airline is supplying the power to the 20 CFM transverse thruster unit. This would reduce the vacuuming by about one inch mercury. However, it's still powerful enough to recover this spill across a wide area.